So Sonoma 2018. So with the season full of just mediocreness, bad races, boring races, we go to Sonoma and it was not that bad. It was okay. <laughs> it was okay. Um, from start to finish, or basically for the first two stages, it was very uneventful. The only things that did happen were Omadinger uh, upshifted or downshifted into first, accidentally blew his motor, which sucked because he won stage one. Um, that was like the one big noticeable thing. Um, uh, there were there were two lead changes, but Fox missed both of them. Good job, Fox. I appreciate it when you miss the lead changes. One, they miss a lead change from Larson to, to Truex, and it was like I can't even like begin to like comprehend like how do they miss it? Like they missed a live pass for the lead, and like we, we everybody could see. Truex was slowly catching Larson, and as soon as they take the camera off to show something else, they they miss it. So, good job. Um, then we have another green flag pass for lead where Truex and Harvick are like side by side. Harvick got by him, but it was under it was under commercial. But we saw the final green flag pass where Truex got by Harvick. So that was good. But really the only thing that I, I could even really note was just the, the pit strategies or the, 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 the fake pit strategies for the stages for stage one and two. So people would pit with like two to go so they would be able to start up front at the beginning of the next stage. And because of that some people stayed out, some people pitted. And that's why Almendinger won the first stage, and that's why Hamlin won the second, because people were doing that sort of stage strategy stuff. And it's cute, but it doesn't really, it didn't really amount to much because things just kind of reset when the next stage went around and ended or began anyway. So nothing really truly came out of that instead of, you know, stage points. So it was just, you know, whatever. And then we got to the final act of the race where there were some, like, actual legitimate pitch strategy that meant something and uh cole pern uh Turex's crew chief did like a really crazy call and uh basically faked harvick into staying on the track while he pitted or something i don't know that the whole communication was they were gonna pit they stayed out harvick pitted harvick thought they were gonna pit with Truex, but not so then they were gonna stay out for another seven or eight laps and it was that was that was that was neat. Good pitcher had you there. That was cool. <laughs> I don't, um, because of that, uh, Truex had like so much more lap fresher tires than uh, Harvick, and uh, Truex uh, eventually ran Harvick down, passed him, and that's when Harvick, Boyer, a couple of other cars, I think Stenhouse, they all pitted with around 20 to go or 19 to go, and. You know, they were kind of baking out of caution. Truex didn't want one naturally, but a caution never came out. Truex won. Pit strategy saved the day from a very meh race. So there's that. I mean, I, I, I don't know what really, like, other than the pit strategy, there was just nothing really to note. Um, I'm glad that they kept the race, you know, green. And again, like, I can't really complain about them throwing out yellows every time they throw out a yellow in there in the race were legitimate but i always applaud them for that but it's just like i don't know if it's just a tv coverage or what it just didn't show much of anything in terms of uh passing it, it was like just i don't even know what to even give the race like maybe i was maybe probably a four but the, the strategy maybe a five so it's like right in the middle of the road a five now, considering how so many races this season have been like just shit I, I, this mediocre race just feels so so high up there in, in the tier for the season but yeah that that pit call was pretty cool Truex won um i i like Truex winning but even if Truex didn't win 
and it was somebody else who did the pick call, that would have been like, yeah, well, that was a good pick call. <laughs> it wouldn't have mattered who. But, yeah, Chase got, like, like fourth. Freaking Bowman, ninth. Chris Buescher, twelfth. And Suarez, tenth, I think. So that was cute. That was good runs for them. Um, I don't know what real... Oh, Ryan Blaney had power steering issues, so he, he couldn't turn the car. Yeah, um, there was that too, and Cody Ware parked it. Um, that's what that piece of shit gets, by the way, for, um, you know, trying to accuse Bendetto's wife of, you know, cheating on him and shit. Like, just fucked up shit. Cody Ware's a piece of shit, by the way. I just want to make that point clear. Um, was it cheating on him or be like a like a wife abuser? I don't know, some fucked up shit. It was at Darlington 2017. Um, I, I'm getting I'm getting off track, but yeah, it was just a very um, middle middle of the road race. Interesting pitch strategy there, and three green flag passes for the lead. That's that's huge. That's pretty goddamn impressive. Like I, I swear to God, Charlotte didn't have any. <laughs> Coke 600. I don't know. Um, IndyCar was good. IndyCar was pretty damn good from flag to flag, a caution free race. And I was like in awe because Newgarden and Hunter Ray were like from like one second to two seconds back, like almost the whole race. And I was just amazed because Ryan Hunter Ray would kind of close in the gap, Newgarden would kind of pull away. So there was stuff like that. Pit strategy also played a factor. So that was like really fascinating to watch just see how close they were throughout like almost the whole race uh, I mean, like the last I feel like 10 laps or so maybe weren't super interesting but that was still pretty pretty good shit I guess for IndyCar standards I, I don't I don't know I'm, I'm a noob at it still so I can't even give a fair rating because I don't know but it, it felt like a good race um, Sonoma I don't even know that, that was just a, that was just 5 5 out of 10 middle of the road I got nothing much more to say. I'm going to keep repeating myself. So, what, next week is Chicagoland? And, oh my god, I forgot. Brett Moffitt, somebody give Brett Moffitt a sponsor. It's bullshit that he has two wins and in the truck playoffs and he it may not even be eligible for the championship. That is so bullshit. I hate, I hate this pay-to-play shit. It pisses me off. And then we got people like Austin Sindrick being a wrecking ball machine just ride buying his way into everything. Ooh, ooh, ooh! I don't like it. Mm, mm, mm. That this it's just disgusting. It's just disgusting. Moffat needs a fucking ride. God damn it. Okay, okay. I'll see. You. I'll see you all uh, in the next race. And as always. No, Chicagoland isn't the next race. What What are they talking? Because one commercial they're saying next weekend's at Chicagoland. And then they're saying next week's at Daytona. So, it... I need to look at the racing schedule because... I don't know what the hell to believe anymore. Okay. Okay. Alright. Now I'm good. I'll see you all next race. I'll see you all later and as always. Have a good day, everyone.